Hello. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the dairy industry and <clears throat> the dairy and milk supply chain and how about blockchain uh, can revolutionize this industry. Uh, the dairy industry, let's say, begins uh, with a cow at the farm and ends with a bottle of milk in the supermarket purchased by a consumer. So this entire supply chain starting from the farm all the way to the supermarket can be tracked uh, using blockchain and in this video I will take you through uh, and uh, explain you that entire process. Uh, first and foremost all the cattle in Australia is uniquely identifiable using an RFID tag because each cattle has its own tag uh, and this is very important from blockchain perspective because we are able to identify a one a unique uh, a cow from which a particular batch of milk might might originate so let's start so the first the first step uh, dep it depends upon exactly where companies want to start tracking uh, using blockchain the earliest possible stage uh, would be when even monitoring the cow's health yeah and that is possible because uh, as I said each cow has its own RFID tag so the health of the cattle or the cow can be monitored and that could be the first point uh, where the information about one uh, information about the cow gets onto the blockchain. The next step, uh, the next phase uh, to capture this, um, the, the next data that would be captured would be during the milking process. So. Australian dairy farms use sophisticated machines to automatically milk cows and these machines uh, capture relevant information about the yield uh, from each particular cow and this information is then uh, we can record this information or uh, this ref this information is already recorded we can transfer uh, this information onto a blockchain once the cows are milked the milk is then transferred uh, using uh, 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 by uh, transporting companies who ship milk from the farm uh, to a processing center where the milk is uh, processed and packed into the bottles ready to go to the supermarket. So during uh, this phase that is the transmission or the uh, transport of the milk from the farm to the processing center is a very critical stage because uh, the milk has to be maintained at a precise temperature to prevent any bacterial growth. So it becomes very important to monitor this uh, transition, this transfer uh, and, and different types of sensors could be used uh, by these logistics companies to track uh, the state of milk or the condition of the milk uh, while it is being uh, transported from the farm to the processing center. Uh, once this once this uh, transport company uh, delivers the milk to the processing center, uh, the processing of the milk is can, can be considered as a manufacturing activity where you get the milk uh, and process it, put it in the bottles and milk goes through a number of processing steps uh, during this during this uh, at this stage and all this can uh, can be recorded uh, using various sensors that these companies have on their uh, on their machinery capturing that information putting it on the blockchain at a regular interval provide the level of uh, uh, transparency and the detail uh, that is required to backtrack even uh, backtrack uh, to the farm and if, if required even to a particular cow so it it, it would depend individually upon each uh, company uh, to what extent do they want to uh, have this track uh, tracking or uh, recording done on a blockchain companies could decide to uh, have the traceability till a particular batch uh, where a batch of milk comes from a number of cows or they could program it in a in, in a way where each uh, uh, each the milk generated by each cow uh, becomes a batch so you can uh, pinpoint the quality of the milk and the yield to a particular cow and even take um, 
use this information in your analytics um, process to understand why a particular cow if uh, if is uh, giving if the yield is low you can try to identify the causes and take remedial actions to fix this so uh, this is this is the process i think you can imagine starting from the cow getting to the transport uh, the logistics provider carrying the milk to the processing centers and after the processing is done milk is packaged it has to be shipped or transported to the uh, supermarkets either locally in Australia or in the country of manufacturing or it could be exported so uh, if it is locally uh, shipped within within the country uh, that tracking that is also that would also require uh, temperature controlled shipment shipping so that the quality of the milk remains at the highest level now imagine the, sh uh, the milk is uh, is at the shopping center uh, <clears throat> say in one of the shopping um, one of the supermarkets customer goes and picks up a bottle of milk each bottle of milk uh, could then be identified because the processing center would have put a unique uh, identifier either in form of a 2d barcode or a rfid chip so the uh, the end user or the consumer could uh, take uh, their take their phone scan the barcode or if their phone has nfc they could just uh, scan the rfid tag and get the complete history uh, of of the milk right uh, from the uh, complete history as in when the milk was uh, when the cow was milked when it was uh, shipped from the farm to the processing center how long uh, what the milk was there in the processing center when when it was bottled uh, at what temperature was it bottled when it was shipped to the shopping center what what was the temperature uh, control uh, uh, that happened and so on uh, till um, till the time how long this milk bottle has been on this shelf in this supermarket all that information is available for the customer customer can take that information uh, and and have trust in the company because they can completely monitor and track this information and in a way it helps build the trust between between the companies and the consumer so overall uh, this is how the supply chain a dairy industry supply chain would work within a country now let us imagine a scenario where this milk is shipped overseas uh, one very popular destination for australia is to uh, ship it to asia uh, specifically china so shipping the milk uh, from australia to china would involve another uh, extended uh, blockchain which would integrate the blockchain using uh, the container uh, shipments that are used to trans to transfer transfer goods um, so so in this in this scenario it would involve data additional data as to when the shipment left australia when it arrived in uh, the port of destination or say in china how long it took how long it was there at the port when it was shipped to the uh, shopping center within a particular city in china and how long it has been staying on the shelf so all that information is available for the customer and i think it is critical to have this information handy so that customers can make an informed decision and also have an understanding about the quality because uh, milk is a very delicate or a perishable item so it degrades in quality pretty quick so if a customer knows that this particular bottle of milk was manufactured like 10 days ago in australia and it is now here in china they would be a bit cautious of buying that but if they know that this was actually uh, packaged and milk just uh, two days ago and it is now in china it builds up their trust and they are more likely to buy so yeah that is in a nutshell uh, idea of how blockchain will uh, streamline or improve the dairy logistics and supply chain process and how the companies can leverage this technology to build customer confidence uh, in their offerings that's it for now uh, i hope you learned something from this video if you have any questions please please feel free uh, to comment and i'll try to uh, respond to to those questions thank you very much and have a good day bye bye